Hello, my darlings. Welcome back to Live Tarot and to a new pick a card reading. Today, we're going to be going in deep on your person's current feelings, intentions, and next actions towards you. So this could be anybody who you have on your mind at this time. It could be your twin flame, your soulmate, your beloved, your crush. We're going to go in deep and get you some clarity today. So if you're new to this channel, big, warm, virtual hug. Welcome. I am Dr. V and it's my absolute passion and purpose to do these readings for you. I feel like I have the best job in the world. And if they resonate for you, make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. Join the incredible Live Tarot family. Also, make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss any further readings. And if you're already part of our beautiful family, I just want to thank all of you for all of your love and support. Thank you for watching and for being here and for your incredible messages and your support. It means really the world to me. And for those of you who are longtime viewers, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. You have no idea how powerful you are when you subscribe. Like you really help me, you really help the channel. It's the best way to support me. So, okay, let's get right into your uh, card choices today. Actually, we have some crystals to help you choose. Now, if you'd like to take a deep breath, meditate, see which of these you feel most guided to, you can choose number one, number two, number three, or you can choose them all and take the messages that resonate for you and leave the rest. Please do be gentle with yourself. This is a general reading. Not everything may, may resonate, but if you'd like to have specific guidance, guidance on your unique journey, you can have a personal reading with me. So the link to that is in the box below. All right. So for our group number one, we have crystal number one. Crystal number two. And crystal number three. Okay, go ahead and make your selection and we'll start with group number one. Right, group number one. Here is your reading. Let's take a look at their feelings, intentions, and next actions. We're going to begin here by getting you a powerful affirmation to support you on this journey. And this is straight from Spirit. I am proud of who I am and excited to expand more. This is so beautiful. And this love you is all about loving yourself. So this is a wonderful reminder from spirit to be proud of who you are and be really excited and in a space of openness to expand more, which means to let in more love, more abundance, more success, everything that you want in life. All right, so I'm going to pull one card for you, group one here. I want to first know, Spirit, can you please tell us what is your person's overall energy? I would like to know for group one, what is your person's overall energy right now? Where are they in their journey? Wow. All right. So we're getting the thief card. Okay. So this tells me that your person may be in a, some state of struggle at this time. There's things that they are going through right now where it's like either I'm getting two energies. Either they feel that they have been gypped or wronged or like, you know, that there's certain things in life that are not going the way they want them to. And they feel like things have been taken away from them or they have not gotten um, what they are, what they feel that they deserve, right? So I feel like for some of you, your person feels they may be in some sort of a phase right now where they are definitely feeling a lack, okay? Where they're definitely feeling like I haven't gotten everything that I deserve for everything that I'm doing. And this doesn't have to be within your relationship. This is kind of like their overall energy in life. Now, for others of you, I'm also feeling that this thief card represents certain things that your person is themselves uh, not sharing. Like there's some sort of secrets or there's some sort of things about themselves that they are almost keeping at a very deep, personal and secretive level. 
Um, and for some of you, I feel like, again, this is not for everybody, but for some of you, I'm feeling that there's been, that, that there is some sort of infidelity that may have happened here as well. Okay. So take it as it resonates for some of you, not everyone, like I said, there's something here that your person may be keeping from you, or maybe there has been some cheating or infidelity in the past that they still have kind of in their vibration, that it's still kind of dragging you down in some way. Okay, so take that as it resonates. But there's definitely an energy here of something that needs to be cleared. Okay, something that you and your person probably need to discuss. Okay, so let's take a look at feelings, intentions, and next action. So we have the High Priestess. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so this tells me that there's definitely things that have to be decided okay there are decisions here that need to be made and again i feel like it has something to do with this energy right here uh for those of you who are you know or who know or feel like you are looking for confirmation of this twin flame journey the two of pentacles can also be seen as a twin flame card i feel like your person really feels that there is something very very powerful in the connection that they share with you Okay, there's something here with the High Priestess, Two of Pentacles, very, very deep, soulful connection. But the thing is, I feel like, and again, I feel like this energy coming through very strong with this energy, I feel like their challenge or kind of like the thing that makes them uncomfortable, and this has nothing to do with you, it makes them uncomfortable in where they are in their life right now. I feel like there's something about you that challenges them to be more, okay? And that challenge of being more, of expansion, of looking internally, of being more introspective, of kind of looking at their own faults is something that makes them uncomfortable, right? There's a discomfort around that for them. And, you know, sometimes we are not in that place in our life or we have kind of come back into a place in life where we just don't want to look at some of the deeper, darker things about ourselves, right? It's a form of escapism. It's a form of not wanting to look at the truth. And um, sometimes we go through those phases or sometimes we're at a place in life where we're just not there. And oftentimes it is the love relationship, right? It is the person that we fall in love with that may be spirit's way of nudging us into that expansion, right? And I feel like this thief card has everything to do with it. So if there are things that your person has you know, is just not willing to look at when it comes to their own faults, when it comes to the darker side of themselves. This is something that they like to keep secret or something they like to not talk about or keep under the surface. I feel like their relationship with you is pushing them. It is spirit's way, the universe's way of pushing them into looking deeper with this high priestess energy. It's spirit's way of saying, okay, well, you haven't you know, really wanted to expand. There are things that are there. There's a darkness in you that you haven't wanted to deal with. Maybe we can nudge you to do so because now you have fallen in, in love with this person, you, who is helping you to expand. Maybe that is the vehicle that you need to finally start looking at some of these deeper aspects of you or darker aspects of you um, that need to be brought out into the light right and so I feel like they their intentions are that they want to be with you they want to have this relationship this connection with you but it's also bringing out these deeper things in them that really scare them okay so two of pentacles they know that they have to make a decision it's like do they want to stay stuck in that energy of, okay, there's like all this stuff in me that I don't want to talk about. So if I'm alone, I don't have to approach it. I don't have to talk about it. I can just keep it buried. Or do they want to make the decision that no, I love you. I want to continue on with you regardless of the fact that this is bringing up things in me, right? Like I feel like this relationship, this connection is bringing to surface 
a lot of the things that need to be dealt with and the with this high priestess are they ready for that is what they are asking themselves their feelings are strong their intentions are to move forward, but I think the struggle is what is that bringing out? See, Seven of Pentacles here as the central energy. So I feel like they, regardless of the fact that this is making them very uncomfortable, they do feel very much that they are building something solid with you and their intention is to build something solid. They want to plant the seeds, right? Like, And they feel like they are. They feel like they, they have planted a lot of beautiful things with you. So even though as they are getting deeper, as they are allowing you into their life in a deeper and deeper way, and you are allowing them into your life in a deeper and deeper way, it is definitely bringing out, see, there you go. <laughs> what a confirmation here, right? Of definitely what it is bringing out in them. It is definitely bringing out the fear. Okay. There's a lot of hidden fear that this connection is bringing out in your person. Why? Because there are things that need to be healed. Wow. See? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay? So there's something here about something very deep that is has been buried under the surface. Okay? So again, like, look at this. See? Do you see how... There is a masculine, a feminine, and a child in this. So I feel for some of you with this healing family issues, there's something here about your your person feeling like they were robbed of something. They were deprived of something by their parents or by the people who raised them. Okay, There's definitely something here that they, are, they were deprived about or they feel was stolen from them. Either their childhood was stolen from them or whatever they felt they needed or wanted in their childhood, they did not get. It was stolen from them. There's something here that needs to be healed, but that's the thing that has been buried so, so deep, right? And that is the thing that they are afraid of coming to the surface. So for some of you where you feel like there's something there's something that they are holding back, there's some secrets that are here beneath the surface. I feel like that's what that secret is. They may not have been able to share that with you. It may be a source of shame, it may be a source of fear. But again, I feel like their love for you and with that two of pentacles, that yin yang energy, they feel that you complement them so well. They feel that you help them to become a greater version of themselves, right? But part of becoming that greater version of themselves is also letting go of the fear or letting the kind of like that stuff that's in there, that's deep in there come out so that it can be healed because see, they want that great big love with you, okay? They deeply want that great big love with you. You know, I, I want to read to you this deck is a new one for me and it has some beautiful explanations of what each of these cards mean and I feel like it's going to give a lot of richness to our reading so I'd like to just read to you from that let me get that deck okay so this is great big love and I love that okay so love heals all wounds, begins all life. So see, we have this great big love healing these wounds right here and dealing with the fear that is coming out, right? It sustains you when you are starving for grace, when you stumble and fall, when you lose sight of your purpose and fall prey to the limited perspective of the ego, okay? So that again is coming through in this thief card. So this may be where your person is also struggling, right? Where they are stumbling and falling. But I feel like with this two of pentacles, you give them that support to not stumble and fall. And they're very deeply appreciative of that, right? Now is the time to fall in love and call in the awareness of the great big love that made you, which is ever pulsing through your veins. There's a heightened sense of awareness in the beginning stages of a relationship when nothing else matters but who is in front of you. You see them, you see yourself in them, and you move in sync with the cadence of your hearts. You surrender to the magic you share and engage in a harmonious dance 
that is seamless in its movements, rising and falling with each moment, each breath. Okay, so this is this great big love is all about love without conditions, right? And how that experience changes you. There's a depth. There's a harmony, and that's exactly what your person's intentions are for you and this relationship. And it's so beautiful because I feel like they are coming into that awareness that it's time to let go of this fear, that if they truly want to be with you, it's time to let go. So let's take a look at their next actions so if you haven't already please do hit that subscribe button you have no idea how powerful you are when you do that you're literally helping me a single mom put my sweet boy through college and prepare my little salty one the younger one <laughs> to also go to college so we all just thank you from the bottom of our hearts wow see look at that beautiful we're getting divine feminine energy here so definitely, if you are feminine, watching for the masculine, okay? Your, per, your, your masculine definitely sees you here as his. And again, that is energy. I just use his and hers as, you know, to make it simple, but that is energy, okay? So that resistance is coming through, right? The resistance to the healing, to the fear, right? But look at this. Look at their next actions. Union, reconciliation, eternal love. Your time has come. Beautiful. What else can we expect, Spirit, from their next actions? Cycles. Okay, so there's a momentum here. Okay. What else can you tell us about their feelings, their intentions? Yeah, see, this is amazing. I love this. All right, so we definitely have momentum force life cycles, right? Staying grounded. And I think that is where we get that two of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. Okay, so this tells us that your person does tend to be a bit in their heads when it comes to their fears, their secrets, their family issues, or their the wounds that they need to heal, right? In order to come fully into themselves, into their own expansion, as well as into this connection with you. So I feel like there is definitely a, a cycle, a momentum that they are very used to, right? Like there's a momentum that they have become accustomed to. And oftentimes it's hard to break out from those momentums. But this is why I feel like their love for you is definitely giving them the strength to come out of the resistance because we're definitely getting a continuing resistance here. But that's okay. You know, it takes time sometimes to get out of these kind of cycles, right? And oftentimes, again, when we have this love, this great love presented, this great big love presented to us, sometimes that is the exact catalyst that we need that is going to help us and support us to get out of those cycles. So I see your person's intentions towards you being very much about union, about reconciliation. If there's been a struggle or separation this this connection is coming back around because your person is definitely observing you right so if you've been in some sort of no contact they have not let go of you they're still watching you they're maybe watching your social media they may be asking friends about you they're still around their energy is still there it is still if you are the feminine you're definitely still the in the heart of their existence right and here's specific messages. You're the love of my life. You make me want to be a better person. I want to be happy and content with you. I know it's hard, but please be patient with me. I'm working to clear the path for us. Okay? So really beautiful. Really beautiful. Let me know what you thought in the comment box below. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order any of the Oracle decks that I have created and used in this reading, all of the links are in the box below. I know many of you buy them from um, 
Amazon where we are sold out right now on a lot of the decks, but we but if you buy them on our website, we will be able to fulfill those orders. Okay? So just to let you know, thank you so much for being here. Love you all. See you all in the next one. Beautiful group 2 that chose this crystal. Let's take a look at your person's feelings, intentions, and next action. So we're going to get you started here with a powerful affirmation from Spirit to support Group 2 on this journey. I am on a sacred journey of healing. Beautiful. So this is Spirit reminding you, Group 2 that you are definitely on a beautiful journey. Enjoy each moment. You are healing and getting better every single day. All right, now we're going to start off with getting your person's current energy spirit. We would like to know for our beautiful group too, what is your person's current energy? Wow. All right. So we're getting message. Okay. So this tells me that your person right now, they are all about communication, all about communicating with you. So um, whether you are in struggle or separation or you are actively together, either way, your person wants to reach out, communicate with you. Um, there's a lot of thoughts that they want to share. Okay, so you may be getting a message from them, especially again, those of you who are in struggle or separation, you may be getting a message from them sooner than you think. And what I'm getting here also from this energy is that I feel like for some of you, there may have been, there may have been some time that has happened that has gone on here. Like, I feel like, again, take it as it resonates, but for some of you, I feel like maybe there's been a struggle or a lack of communication or some sort of silence that has been a little bit more prolonged, maybe a few weeks, maybe a few months. And for some of you, I feel like you're going to get a message out of the blue. Like, it's going to really shock you. Like, for some of you, you may have already kind of written this person off okay like you may have said well you know things didn't work out they're still on my mind I still love them I mean I wish they had worked out I, I would love to reconcile I would love to work it out but there may be some of you who ha are kind of letting go of that possibility because like I said it's been it may have been a while and you're just like you know what it's better for me to move on and just as you decided to do that and this is what I find most interesting. And just as you decided to do that, this person comes back into your awareness, into your energy, into your life. Okay. So I'm really feeling that this is going to be abrupt for many of you, as in, I think you will be in shock. <laughs> like you, you, for many of you, you didn't think you'd hear from this person again, and you may just wake up one morning soon and you have some sort of a message from them. Either it's a voicemail, it's a text, it's a something. It, for some of you, I'm even feeling like some sort of card in the mail, like some sort of a letter, something handwritten, okay? I feel like for some of you, it's going to be handwritten and it's going to shock you, okay? So it may come out of the blue because there's something here about communication. Your person wants to deeply communicate with you. Wow, we're getting King of Cups in reverse, we're getting the page of pentacles, more communication coming through. And we're getting the moon, okay? So this is why, okay, group two. I do feel that there's something has happened here, okay? Where maybe the, the, your person shut off their emotions, right? We're getting king of cups in reverse, like they were not in tune with their true emotions. They were either um, holding themselves back they were not opening up. They weren't vulnerable. Okay, I'm getting a very strong energy here that one of the things your person really regrets, like in terms of their feelings and their intentions, is that there's a regret here over not being vulnerable enough, not opening up, not communicating with you. Again, I feel like group two, this entire reading, I, I just feel very strongly the energy is all around authentic communication, the communication of your real feelings, okay? So I feel like your person right now is really going through a, a tough time. They're going through a dark time, especially if you're in separation because they have come to realize that they were not 
open enough. They did not let you see um, their true self. You know, like they only let you see a certain aspect of themselves. And they were com because and they were comfortable with that, but they realized that in order to actually have a real, authentic, honest relationship, they were going to have to be more vulnerable. And I feel like at some ex to some extent, they were not comfortable with that. They weren't fully communicating who they are. There's something here that blocked their heart space, okay? And and I feel like this is something that you felt very deeply too about them is that why are they not opening up? Why am I, why do I feel like I'm not seeing who they really are? I feel like they weren't showing you every aspect of who they really are. And that is and, and and that that is the most important thing, right, about having an intimate relationship is that we are intimate with one another. We we have that sense of trust or that sense of faith within, within the love that we can open ourselves up, that we're not going to be judged. I feel like your person really was afraid of being judged. And I feel like it's not at all about you. Even if you are not the kind of person who would have judged them, I feel like this is an overall feel that, fear that your person really has. Like I feel like they are very, very touchy about um, being judged or being criticized. There's a sensitivity that they have. But I feel like they they um, mask that sensitivity or they keep that sensitivity very like bottled up within them because they are ultra touchy about being judged, criticized, watched. And again, I, I'm not saying you do any of those things, but I feel like they, they, they've experienced this before and it makes them very uncomfortable. So I feel like that is another reason why they're also coming through with that moon's energy, right? Like there's, they always keep some sort of veil over their emotions, okay? They always keep some sort of veil over their intentions as well. So I feel like they don't they they don't fully show you what their true intentions are, and that might be another reason why there's a lack of communication or there's been a stepping back here because someone here felt like, and I feel like it is you, felt like you are not seeing the entire picture, right? That that they are not being clear with you about their emotions and their intentions. And that is why, again, I feel like they're coming into this, you know, question of why did I not communicate, right? Because we're getting this page of pentacles energy again. And to me, this also represents that there is a part of your person that is still immature in that sense, right? There's a part of them that is still very childlike, um, that is not practical enough about what a relationship that is mature, that is adult, um, that is really about shared partnership, like they're quite not quite there yet. And you know, that's okay. We're all at different stages in life. There's a part of them that is still building up those skills, right? There's still a part of them that it, that, that kind of, um, defaults to a more childlike energy that can be a little bit more impractical, that doesn't understand the practicalities of adult life, right? The practicalities of adult relationships and how important adult relationships are when it comes to communication or like how important communication, real communication and vulnerability is to adult relationships. There you go. See, this is so interesting. Yeah, this is a confirmation because look at this, we're getting close encounters, okay? And this is all about, look at, the, look at how we have a butterfly in the cage here, and then we have a butterfly that's sitting outside on the cage. So this shows us that your person, it feels like that butterfly that's in the cage, as in this is a cage of their own making. They're afraid of letting anybody come closer, Right. This is kind of like a cage that they have created for themselves that they that they stay within, not because the world created that for them, but because they have created that for themselves. And that is the key to where they are in their feelings. Right. Because I, this is so interesting, you know. I, this, is, this is a new deck. I wanted to read to you from the actual um, explanation of this card, even though intuitively I feel very strongly that this is what is the case. But look what, what it says here. Under close encounters, key concepts, vulnerability. Okay, it's the same thing. Wow, 
wow, thank you, spirit. That is the world, communication and vulnerability within that. Vulnerability as a strength, letting others see your wounds, okay? This is a time of connection that asks for you to be vulnerable and authentic. Let go of any social max, masks or constructs you use to keep yourself apart from others. Lower your shields and allow yourself to step into a dance of intimacy. So again, this moon, right? To me, the moon really does represent that energy of keeping things veiled, right? Of keeping things, um, you know, very kind of hidden away because because this King of Cups in reversed, right? Because you're not opening up to your emotions. You're not letting people get close, right? So lower your shields. When you become close to people, you remind yourself that you are not alone. And that is the thing. I feel like your person really also their intention with you here and what they truly feel is that they have been a lone wolf for a very long time look at this lone wolf right here howling at the moon so there's a second moon's energy we're getting and look oh my god we have a we have a wolf howling at the moon here as well okay so look at the power of this double energy this double image wolves howling at the moon okay so this tells us that your person sees themselves a bit in that loner stage, right? Like somebody who cuts off their emotions, King of Cups in reverse. Why? Because that's why they're a loner. Like they're not, um, they, they, they don't feel comfortable opening up that heart space fully and communicating their true thoughts and feelings. Perhaps this is their life experience. Perhaps life experience has made them kind of stuck in this energy of feeling like they are on their own and they have only one person to rely upon and that is themselves and that they don't trust that they can you know, rely, rely upon anybody else. Maybe their life experiences have given them that lesson or what they have um, learned from difficult challenges or life experiences is that they should they that on, they can only count on themselves and they can't count on anybody else. But at the same time, look at the the energy of hunger. Okay, to me, that howling at the moon, that sense of feeling lonely or at least in this image okay i'm not saying that all you know if you take the the idea of the wolf yes they they do exist in packs but in these images this is a lone wolf that is howling right so i feel that this also signifies to us your person's deep desire and hunger for partnership their deep desire and hunger not to be alone anymore. They feel lonely. You know, they feel lonely. This is a lonely place to be. Okay, there's a very deep sense of loneliness coming through from your person. The more they've put themselves in this golden cage, the lonelier and more isolated they've become and the greater their hunger has become to connect. So even if this is a safe place for them to you know be more isolated to cut off their feelings i feel like what they're realizing is that the consequence of that is being lonely is being very very much alone and that is why they are seeking the connection of communication right communication is what helps you to stop feeling lonely connecting with the person you love communicating your thoughts your feelings your heart's desires to them opens you up that so that hunger is then satisfied that hunger for love and connection they also very much feel that they have known you in the past that is why they feel very deeply connected to you if you are in separation they also feel haunted by you know what they had with you they feel a very deep connection whether or not they may consciously understand or believe in past lives doesn't matter. It's this deep hunger they have for you based on this, this subconscious understanding that they have known you before, that there's something about you that is very familiar, that is very, very beautiful and, and makes them feel safe and makes them feel like, you know, they've known you their whole life. So I really feel that their intention is to come out of this cage, to come out of their shell. So let's take a look at their next actions. And 
At this point, I would really appreciate it if you could go ahead and hit that like button and give this video a like. It really helps the channel. Also, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. You have no idea how powerful you are because when you subscribe, you are helping me, a single mom, put my very sweet boy through college and prepare my little salty one <laughs> to follow in his footsteps and go to college as well. So we all just thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your support. See? beautiful. So your person sees you as their divine counterpart, their soulmate, their, you know, their divine counterpart. Like they, they see you as the partner that they want in this life. See, inner child. So this is why I'm saying there's something here that's coming through with that king of cups in reverse and that page of pentacles there is definitely a childlike energy here okay there's definitely a childlike like i said a bit of this immature energy coming through of them really needing to mature when it comes to the way that they communicate with you you are their home see they want to have a home with you. So to me, this signifies them making an offer, okay? An offer of commitment, engagement, marriage, however, which way you see commitment. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, you saw that. You saw that. You saw me shuffling and you saw me, <laughs> just as I said, marriage. You saw this card come out, okay? So this again represents whatever kind of commitment that you both so desire from this relation. Wow, okay? Home, marriage, soulmate. I mean, this is just amazing. And again, we're getting the fear, okay? So your pe person is definitely, their intention is to get over the fear so that they can make you this offer because you are literally their home. You are what they want, okay? That is clear. And their, their desire for that communication, to have that communication with you is also very, very clear. I keep getting signs that remind me of you. I can't ignore them anymore. I need to reach out to you. Okay, you saw me <laughs> shuffle that too. Amazing. See, again, we're getting communication here as the key. I'm sorry for being critical of you. I know I hurt you with my harsh words and actions. Okay, so take that as it resonates. There may have been some issue here about that, about their communication. Again, them not being great at communication or them being sometimes harsh in their communication. So, wow, I just feel that for those of you who, you know, were thinking this is gone, you're going to be surprised when this communication just abruptly abruptly may come through. So let me know what you thought in the comment box below. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order any of the Oracle decks that I've created and used in this reading, the links are in the box below. I know many of you buy them on Amazon, but right now we're sold out of some of these on Amazon. But if you do buy them from our website, we are able to fulfill um, that order. Okay, so thank you so much for being here. Love you all. See you all on the next one. My beautiful group three. Here is your reading on your person's feelings, intentions, and next actions. So let's get a powerful affirmation for group three to help them on this journey. Romance is my birthright and I claim it. Ooh, this is such a good one, group three. I love it. Absolutely, this is spirit reminding you that romance is in your blood. It is in your <laughs> everything. It is your absolute birthright and you need to boldly claim romance, love, connection as your own. Wow, love it. Now, let's start with what is group three's person's current energy. I want to find out here because I'm super nosy. <laughs> what is your, your person's current energy? Interesting. All right. So this tells me that your person may be going through a bit of a time of struggle right now. To me, the bad health card represents a lot of different things like you know for some of you it is literally bad health as in your person may be going through a phase right now where they're just 
having issues, you know, they may have health issues, but I feel that it also represents um, not just bad health physically, but I also feel that it also represents emotional struggle, right? So your person right now may be struggling with either anxiety about things, stress about things. Sometimes those stress, th that stress and those anxieties can, you know, trigger physical pain, right? Like they may be having headaches, you know, back pain, you know, just not feeling themselves under the weather, you know, um, or they are also struggling from something that is in their mindset, right? Like they may be having some sort of very negative thoughts, dark thoughts, um, they're struggling to become more positive or they're struggling to deal with certain crisis situations that may have happened in their life. So there is definitely an energy here in their current energy of um, struggling to deal with certain things. And those things may be manifesting in their physical or emotional way, right, where they're just not feeling great about themselves at this time. So let's go deeper into their feelings, intentions and next actions. We have Ace of Swords. So wonderful. I love this. I love this because this tells us, group three, that even if your person is struggling with some sort of darkness, negativity, stress, anxieties that are becoming, you know, like, or, or difficult mindsets that are affecting them, maybe physically and emotionally, this Ace of Swords tells us that they are looking to get out of it, okay? This tells us that they want change. They want to think differently, do differently. This is not the energy of somebody who is wallowing in that energy. Oh my God, Ace of Cups. Wow, look at this. Oh, beautiful. I love this beautiful momentum here of your person wanting change, wanting a new beginning, a fresh start, wanting to come out of this energy. I love it. Queen of Swords. Wow. Okay. So I'm getting this energy of definite new beginnings. And look at this beautiful Ace of Cups. It says, love relationships beginnings and this beautiful white dove here right with this beautiful cup of love here oh my gosh and look at this all these flowers blooming here so i feel like your person they i think they feel that they have not been there for you in the way that they should have been okay they feel like they have been too lost in their own head too lost in their own problems because we're getting and it's interesting because we're getting this ace of cups as the central energy between these swords energies right ace of swords and queen of swords so this tells me that your person they really do feel that they kind of got lost in the mundane realities of their own mind, right? Like they were too much in their heads, they were too rigid. There's a rigidity that's coming through here. They were too rigid, too focused on their own problems. They kind of had like a stinky thinking, you know? <laughs> that's the that's the trait, that's the the phrase that um spirit is giving me, like stinky thinking, like bad thinking. Like, you know, so if you have like bad thinking, you're gonna get bad results, right? Like you're not gonna get good results from you know, thinking low vibrational things. And so I feel like your person really does feel that they were stuck in a very rigid, um, you know, Queen of Swords energy sometimes can be a little bit harsh, a little bit critical, like on the, you know, in the darker aspect of the Queen of Swords energy. But I feel like they are really aware though, and their intention now is to come out of that energy, right? And to have a new way of thinking, Ace of Swords, and a new way of being, a new way of feeling, because they are realizing that they really did not offer you what you deserved and they were probably not there for you emotionally in the way that you deserved for them to be and now they are realizing their mistake on that see the land between religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path and see darkness so it's interesting whenever i get this card I also feel almost like the same that I feel with this one, as in it represents, yes, you could be from different religions or different spiritual paths, 
um, different cultures, but I feel like it also represents different mindsets, right? So where you may feel like, you know, you love each other very much, but there's some sort of a difference in the way that you think and process things, the mindset that you have, perhaps you are more um, positive or more open than this person. Perhaps you are more um, spiritually connected with yourself than this person. That's not to say that they're any kind of a bad person or anything, but just that maybe they are a little bit more limited in that way. Like they are more limited by being more in their minds rather than opening up their heart or their spiritual awareness to help them solve their problems or their issues or challenges. And oftentimes that's exactly what happens, right? When you have... Um, Oftentimes people who have a hard time accessing their emotions, um, who um, are, you know, having a hard time uh, connecting with the deeper authentic self within them and they're on that journey of doing so, sometimes their issues show up in bad health, right? They show up in the physical manifestation of their anxiety or the physical manifestation of um, a mindset that may not be serving them well, right? So this is why I feel like their intentions are to adopt a better mindset, to come out of the darkness. I feel like there is definitely with that bad health energy and also the a lot of that mental energy that's coming through with the queen of swords and the eight you know and the swords cards they know that when they're in their head they tend to succumb to more darker thoughts okay they they understand they realize i feel like they're more um able to observe themselves and their thoughts and they realize that the more they get in their head the more they kind of let the the darker thoughts run free in their mind and those darker thoughts are not serving them and they're not really helping you or this relationship and those dark thoughts have also contributed to them not being able to open up emotionally to you or to be there for you in the way that they need to be as your partner and I feel like your person is truly realizing this and their intention is again with these beautiful aces to come out of that energy and to do things differently now this land in between is a very interesting energy this is a new deck that i am using and so i would like to read to you the explanation because i think it's very powerful so this is about being between worlds okay learning to be okay while at the threshold of what was and what will be, a time of waiting and evolving, see? Gray areas, something essential yet still in development. You're in the process of change. You know that you were called to it and can no longer be who you were, but you aren't sure what the next experience of your life will be. You are in between what was and what could be in a pupil stage, like during the metamorphosis of the caterpillar into the butterfly. However, you can't just skip the messy parts. You have to endure the unknown and uncomfortable as you reinvent yourself. So look how powerful this is, group three. I love this because I feel like this is the energy of your person really wanting to reinvent themselves. I feel like with this bad health energy and some of the stinky thinking, they've been in that gray area between two worlds, as in they don't want to be who they have been because it's not working for them or for you, but they don't know what it's going to look like to step into the new version of themselves, right? There's that, it's that period of unknown, of being in between. Well, I can't go back to where I came from because that wasn't working, but do I know how to transform into something new, something that's going to work for you, that's going to bring this relationship into this Ace of Cups energy because that is what they want. So they're, you know, navigating that darkness. And I think their intention is to navigate through that middle point and get to that ace of cups so they can be with you and be the person that you need them to be and the person that they also themselves want to be and that's really really powerful so let's take a look at their next actions and i would really appreciate it if right now you could take a second to give this video a like a thumbs up it really helps our channel in the algorithm also if you haven't subscribed already please do hit that subscribe button you have no idea how powerful you are because when you do that, you're literally helping me, a single mom, put my sweet boy through college and prepare my little salty one, <laughs> the younger one, to go to college as well. So we really thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. 
All right, look at this masculine energy. Wow, that one just flew out. Soulmate. Wow, Chaser. Beautiful, I kind of like that. Chasing you down there. Not wanting to settle. Fresh, oh my gosh, another ace energy, right? Fresh start, more ace energy. Look at this, guys. I mean, I love this for you, group three. You have so many aces, new beginning energies that are so powerful. Wow, let's just get a couple of specific messages also. This one flew out, so we're going to take it. Oh, interesting. All right, so look at this. I feel like if there's a very strong divine masculine energy coming through here, okay? So if you are feminine watching for your masculine, I feel like this really shows us that the divine masculine is really wanting to step up for the feminine, okay? They see you as their soulmate. They see you as their divine partner. They don't want to settle for anything less or they don't want to settle for what has already been, right? Like they don't want to settle for what has already gone on in this situation or relationship that has not been positive, right? That has maybe made you to drift apart or maybe put you both in a situation where you're not connecting the way you want to, right? So I do feel that they are definitely going to be chasing you down here for that fresh start because we're getting all kinds of ace energy. That ace of cups to me is key right there. They're going to be pursuing you, okay? They're going to be pursuing you to ask you for that new beginning. I can't hide my true feelings anymore. I love you and want to spend my life with you. There you have it. I mean, it's what what could be more clear than that, okay? So interesting, if you haven't heard from this person or there's been some sort of a decline in the connection, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised with, with the way that they are chasing you, okay? With the way that they may be um, pursuing you to ask you for a new opportunity, to ask you to release the past, okay? Because there's a definite energy here coming from the past with this, right? Whatever has not worked out in the past, whatever has created this darkness between the two of you. Perhaps you're both kind of on that precipice of we're in a gray area. We don't know where we're going. There's been this kind of like, we don't know where we are. We don't know where we stand. Um, I don't know where, where we stand, right? You may be coming to this reading thinking, I have no idea where we stand or where I stand with this person. So this is where I feel like their intention is to have a resolution, right? Their intention is to show you that they want to move forward, that they don't want this to fester. If this, this is a situation that you feel has been festering or that has been stalling for a while, they don't want to settle for anything less. There's a scarcity here, right? Like they feel like there's an insecurity here of like, okay, I can't let this go on any longer because I will lose you forever. We can't just be in this limbo. This is also a bit of that limbo stage, right? So they don't want to be in that. Now take this as it resonates. It may not be for everybody. I'm sorry for putting you in a third party situation. I'm miserable, but I don't have the courage to leave. So there is something here for some of you. There may be some sort of a third party situation here that is also creating this feeling of being stuck of being like, you know, in a darkness, of not being able to move forward. And it's interesting because I wouldn't be surprised for those of you who are in that situation, that's also a limbo land between situation where you have to make a choice, okay? Where you have to make a choice. So for those of you, again, who that resonates with, your person, it, their intention is to make that choice and move forward because they, it's really killing them, right? It's really showing up in really bad ways for them. I don't think they can handle it anymore. And look at all these aces do show us that they want that new beginning and they want that fresh start. Okay. So let me know what you thought in the comment box below. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order any of the Oracle decks that I have created and used in this reading, 
All of the links are in the box below. And I know many of you order them from Amazon, but some of them were sold out on Amazon. But if you still want one, you can order from our website and we can fulfill that order. So thank you so much for being here. Love you all. See you all on the next one.